Hello boys and girls, welcome again to the channel and unfortunately today we are going to talk about a problem that I have with my arquebus. Really not sure what to do here so maybe someone can help me out. We're going to film this today with the uh, little little endoscope which is why the quality is on um, uh, 16th century level quality of photography. On the outside looks okay. I uh, put this piece through a lot of rounds of historical reenactment, so it got a little, little worn out, worn out, a little beat up. But it's it's mostly good, um, except uh, inside the barrel. So we're gonna we're gonna dive in right now. And uh, the bore looks looks okay um, through here. Now you can see there's some rust and uh, the rust gets quite bad, but it's it's because I haven't really had a been able to properly clean it while it's in this state because at the bottom of the breach we have this nasty obstruction and yeah the the rust is really bad, but um, it's because you know I need to get this out um, I think uh, and I haven't really fully cleaned it as long as this thing has been obstructing it. So basically what happened here is I had a patch stuck, you know, dropped down the barrel and I put down the patchworm to try to pull out the patch. But as I was twisting the patchworm, um, twisting the ramrod, the, the little corkscrew um, broke off. And that's this piece of metal that you see here. That's the little screw metal from the patchworm and what it's sticking in is the patent breach so like i said in my previous video these indian uh, muskets don't have a flat breech face they have a little chamber in the middle um, which maybe sounds cool until something like this happens and now this metal is this this worm is jammed up with the patch into the little uh breach chamber and i cannot for the life of me figure out how to remove it so the next thing i thought i could try would be to use another uh worm uh fortunately i have a different worm a better worm this one is um really it's a ball worm with a proper screw on it um it's designed for pulling balls but it actually works just fine on patches and this kind is not going to break so um, I try using this one down the bore and hope that maybe it will be able to catch the patch and pull the patch out from under the uh, broken worm but when I push it down it, it just the metal of the worm hits the the I mean the, the metal from the ramrod um, and the worm I'm using now, it hits the broken worm. So it doesn't really engage the cloth. I just feel metal hitting metal and there's, you know, there's no engagement with the patch. I can't, I can't do anything. Um, I can't pull it out. If we dive back in, um, you'll see there's, try to see if we made any progress. And yeah, see, it's, it's the same as before. Um, with this metal sticking out, it really prevents any sort of worm from getting in there and pulling on the patch. Now, you might think, okay, well, why not put some uh, powder through the vent hole and uh, just kind of blow the patch out with a little little flash of gunpowder. Um, the problem with that is uh, the position of the vent hole. So theoretically, the the vent hole on one of these muskets is supposed to go into the uh, patent breach into the chamber in the middle but when I drilled the vent hole on this piece um, it did not come out in the chamber it came out um, a little further forward um, just based on where the pan was and the fact that I drilled it kind of conservatively because I didn't want to go too far back so when I push a paper clip through well see this is this is where the vent hole is and any powder that I push through this hole is not going to be behind the patch it'll be on top of it 
and if I ignite it, it'll just probably jam everything further back down instead of blowing it out. And I can use a paper clip to kind of stir things up and poke it, but I I can't I can't do anything to get it out. It's not it's not letting me take it out. It's not letting me dislodge the worm. Uh, the worm can be touched this way, but it's it's not going to get pushed out of the way or anything. And I'll say at this point that you know this whole thing has been sitting in um, WD-40 and and gun oil, just trying to trying to soak everything and prevent it from rusting and maybe hopefully weaken the patch to a point where I could you know it could be easier to pull out or you know might disintegrate or something I, I left it soaking in WD-40 for a couple of days it didn't seem to have an effect um, I don't know if there's any kind of solvent that would dissolve the patch it probably would just be bad for the metal <laughs> Here's the uh, other thing I tried, which is to use a little grabber tool, grab, grabby grabber, uh, I think this is what they're called, and this is a little thing that will, you know, uh, there's a long tube, and when you squeeze it on one end, then these little, four little claws will come out and grab something. It's got four, four claws that will reach out and, and grab, so... I put this all the way down the barrel, all the way down. And then I uh, open it up and push it, push it in, and then let go, try to grab, and then I pull out, but there's, there's nothing. It, it doesn't catch anything. I can feel, I can feel the claws um, getting engaged, not quite engaged, but just, you know, touching, making contact with the metal uh, and, and kind of closing on something closing on the metal of the worm, but there's nothing for them to really hold on to. So I pull it out and it just, it just kind of comes off and it doesn't even feel like uh, I'm moving the worm at all or making any progress. Uh, so, and also I try to open the claw as wide as I can so that hopefully I could maybe grab the patch from under the broken worm but that doesn't really get me anywhere. Even if I push it all the way down and open it as far as I can, it still doesn't um, grab the patch under the worm. So now we go back down the bore and try to see what's inside. And, you know, it's still the same. <laughs> and um, at this point, I realized that I, I pull out the paper clip and the plastic coating on the paper clip got left on the inside of the vent hole. So now I've got this little tube of plastic in there um, and I can't get it out. It's not really a problem, I guess. Uh, it, it'll, it'll come out whenever everything else does, I guess. Yeah. It is what it is. Now, as soon as this problem happened, I had to stop using this for reenactment because, of course, there is a potentially loose piece of metal inside the bore, which means that any shots, even if I only load powder in it, theoretically could end up with a metal projectile coming out. So cannot be used for reenactments. Um, for shooting, you know, I could maybe take this to a range and just load it with the ball, but I don't, I feel really reluctant to do that. Um, first of all, I'm afraid that just any more shots will jam jam everything back down into the patent breach even more and just make it harder to get rid of to get cleaned and also i uh, am worried that with this worm sticking out there's going to be an air gap between the powder and the ball which can kind of make it less safe i believe i i think it increases the chance of you know a pressure uh pressure getting too high and damaging the bore so i don't really feel um eager to shoot it in this state um i think there's a chance that maybe if i just keep you know putting powder down there and trying to get powder under the patch you know then maybe i'd be able to get it all burned out and cleaned out so 
honestly, that feels like my only option at this point. Unless I could figure out some sort of strange worm that would, you know, avoid, like a worm to, to catch around the outside and, and just grab the patch from the outside. But but then there's nothing really to grab onto. Um, it, it'll, it, if I had a worm that just kind of had wires around the edge of the bore, it would probably not really get a firm grip on the patch itself. So uh, I, I just, I can't think of anything else. Um, if you have any ideas, please share, please, please tell me what to do. Um, uh, because I want to, I want to get this back to its original condition until then. I think I'll just put some evapo rust in the bore to, uh, deal with this rust before it becomes more of a problem. And, uh, all right, for now, um, I don't have a, I don't have a, I don't have a gun. I'm unarmed as, as of right now, which makes me sad. I will sign off here. And uh, I'll see you in the next video. Thank you. Somebody.